Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from BEL, that is Parad Electronics Limited. So I'm trying to bring up maximum number of BEL recruitments because this organization, it is a government organization and also it is mainly focusing on electronics brands. Okay. So this channel is mainly focusing again on electronics brands, electrical and electronics instrumentation. So I'm trying to bring up maximum these kind of jobs. Okay. So this is a government organization job. So if you are interested, and if you have at least one year of experience, then please do watch this video till the end. Otherwise, you can skip this video, but please do suggest this, suggest this video to all your friends who's having one year of experience. Okay, so let us see the recruitment in detail. So the recruitment is happening from Parad Electronics Limited and uh, its branch of Machili Patnam, that is in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, the Andhra Pradesh location is recruiting for the post of trainee engineers and the branches they are recruiting are trainee engineer, electronics and trainee engineer mechanical the number of vacancies is five five vacancies is there for electronics and mechanical and the upper age limit everything they have actually given in a box the most important things okay in the beginning itself uh, so the upper age limit is 25 years but they uh, again there is age relaxation for obc and scst obc candidates maximum age limit is 28 and for scst maximum age limit is 30 years Minimum post qualification experience you require is one year of experience you require and uh, the remuneration that you are going to get per month is 25,000 rupees per month. Okay, so this is actually uh, for a period of three years. So generally the BEL recruit uh, the trainee engineers for three years and project engineers for four years. That is the thing they are doing and afterwards uh, whether they will extend the job or not it will be depending on the organization. Okay. Anyway, three years job is uh, like short or guaranteed. And for the first year, you are going to get 25,000. In the second year, you will be getting 28,000 per month. And for the third year, you will be getting 31,000 per month. This is the salary that you will be getting or the monthly pay that you will be getting for the three years. Okay, So you are going to work in the organization for three years for sure. So anyway, even if it is for three years, salary is also good. Organization is also good. So if you are interested, always try for BEL. Okay, so that is my opinion. Next, let us see the branch details and everything. So we have actually seen the branch details. But anyway, they are not just asking for BEB tech. Let's see that in specific. So for training engineer uh, electronics branch, candidates should have completed either BE or B tech or BSc. A lot of people uh, from BSc category do message me or comment me regarding the job update so this is also applicable for bsc candidates okay so in the branches which all branches are eligible i'll tell you okay electronics electronics and communication electronics and telecommunication communication or telecommunication okay so and also if you are belonging to uh, general economically weaker session or obc you require a first class but if you are belonging to scst or persons with disabilities you only require a pass class okay now, this is again applicable for the mechanical branch also. That is B, B Tech or BSc. Again, first class uh, for general and other categories, SCST require only pass class. So, that is the specific qualification requirement. Now, let us see the application procedure. So, I am going to directly give the uh, BL carrier side. In that, you will get uh, to know this or get uh, to see this advertisement link. Below that advertisement link, you will get a uh, link for applying online. Okay, so that is the application procedure. So application procedure is online only. Okay, again, there is fees for applying. There is a fees of 200 rupees for general can uh, candidates or category. But if you are belonging to PWD, that is persons with disabilities or SCST candidates are actually exempted from the fees. Okay, so that is a fee detail. And also, if you want to know uh, regarding in which area you require experience, that thing also they have mentioned clearly in this notification. For the electronics branch, you require an experience in embedded system media, embedded system design, CC++, uh, embedded C, RTOS, PCB design. That is in core embedded field. If you have an experience, then uh, you should apply. Okay. Then for the mechanical branch, you should have a exp experience that is hands-on experience in mechanical designing and an analysis using AutoCAD. Then other things they have also mentioned. Okay. So you can see all these things clearly in the notification. So for the electronics plan specifically I'm talking, you require an experience in embedded field. A lot of people do ask me in comment session then how to start uh, that is the career as a embedded engineer. So this is a 
opening but you should have some work experience in embedded okay so that is the uh, specific experience they are asking for next let us move on to the selection process the selection process actually nowadays bl is only conducting video based interviews okay this is one thing which i want to uh, tell you as a person who regularly checks the uh, bl career site and go through the notification i could understand that bl nowadays only conducts video based interviews so if you are interested you should prepare for only interview and if you prepare all the core subjects and the uh, areas which they are asking for for your uh, interview then you can clearly get through the interview okay so this is uh, for all people this information is for all people who are aspirants of bl so there will be only a video based interview and the weightage they are uh, they are giving is like this for the uh, cgpa or for your qualifying examination mark 75 percentage or 75 marks is the weightage for the experience which you have that is for your work experience 10 marks is there for the interview which you are going to attend if you are getting shortlisted 15 marks they have kept so 75 10 10 sorry 10 15 that is the division or weightage okay so for the uh, interview which you are going to attend 15 marks they are keeping so please do attend that interview with that much of importance okay and also another thing if you are if you first you have to apply if you are getting shortlisted only then you will get a mail generally mostly if, uh, for all the peers persons with the necessary qualifications they will be conducting the uh, interview or the video based interview okay so you will get uh, the mail and everything from their side if you are getting shortlisted okay so that's all about the selection process now talking about the last date for application the last date for submitting of online applications is 27th of february so there is enough time but don't wait till that please to apply for it as soon as possible so we have seen all details regarding this recruitment qualification details age limit uh, then experience detail then selection process and application procedure okay so if you want to have a detailed look just go through the notification i'll be sharing the link in uh, the description okay so please to apply for it as soon as possible and if you found the video useful please to give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching